Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be showing you how to download and install Biomes of Plenty in Minecraft 1.16.5. We're going to be going over every single step of getting Biomes of Plenty from getting forged, which you'll need to even installing obviously Biomes of Plenty and then in game showing you how to set up a world that uses the Biomes of Plenty biomes. It's going to be all covered in depth in this video. First and foremost though, we have a message from our sponsor which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually love trust Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them, and if you want to check out Apex, you can check them out at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into getting Biomes of Plenty. The first thing we want to do is obviously download Biomes of Plenty, and to do that, you want to go to the second link down below, which is going to take you to our text tutorial for Biomes of Plenty here. It goes over everything kind of in depth as far as uh, getting Biomes of Plenty, because um, I go fast sometimes in these videos. I understand that, and because of that, we try to make it as easy as possible for you to go through it at your own pace, and that's what this article is going to allow. Once you're here, though, go ahead and click on the yellow Download Bombs of Plenty button. That will take us off to Bombs of Plenty's official a download page, where we can then go over here to the right-hand side, scroll down until we see Minecraft 1.16, and then under that, we'll see Bombs of Plenty 1.16.4. Nick, I'm mad. I'm mad. Because you said this is 1.16.5, it's in the title, it's everything, what's up, that's not 1.16.5. Oh, but it is. 1.16.4 Biomes of Plenty works natively without any issues in 1.16.5. So, we want to download the 1.16.4 or 1.16.5 version by clicking on this orange download button over here to the right hand side. When we click on that, after a few seconds, Biomes of Plenty is going to start downloading right away. Wait for it. One, and there we go. The download is going to start in our bottom left. We will need to keep the file, but it's 100% safe to do that. Now, we're not done downloading just yet. We still need to download four. You can find Forge at the third link in the description down below. And again, this is going to be a text tutorial, right? We have this text tutorial because I'm not going to cover every single little problem you could have with Forge in this video. But it is all covered right here in this article. So make sure you go through this article here and, uh, you know, go through all that if you do have any issues. However, if you just want the basics, go ahead and click on the green Download Forge button here. It takes out to Forge's official website where we want to make sure MC 1.16.5 is selected. It's not, so what we want to do is come over here to the left-hand side, click on plus 1.16, and then click on 1.16.5. This takes us off to the MC 1.16.5 download for Forge, where under download latest, we want to click on the installer button. Once we do that, it's going to go ahead and take us off to add focus where stop! Do not click anything on this page. Do not click a single thing on this page. As a matter of fact, when you go to this page, just close your eyes, sit back, and listen to my annoying voice for like five to ten seconds here. You're just going to sit back, you're just listening to my voice with your eyes closed, and then when you open your eyes, you'll see a red skip button in the top right. Now again, when you go to this page, do not click anything, wait 10 seconds. Then after 10 seconds, a red skip button will appear up here in the top right. Click on that red skip button. When you do that, automatically Forge will start downloading. It will download in the bottom left and it will say Forge.1.16.5 in the title, as you can see there. If it does, you're going to go ahead and click keep. And on Mozilla Firefox, again, it'll ask you to save it in the center of your screen. You can do that there. But again, just click the red skip button in the top right on this page. That's it. Now if we go ahead and minimize our browser, here on my desktop I have Forge and I have Biomes of Plenty. If these aren't on your desktop, no worries, they're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little windows icon in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. Go ahead and type in downloads. Then this downloads file folder here. Click on that and in here you will find Forge and Biomes of Plenty. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we can go ahead and start off by installing Forge. Now, if these files don't look exactly like mine, don't worry. I'm going to show you how to fix that in a second. Like, if they're WinRAR files or something like that, I'm going to show you how to fix it. But first, let's see if we can open up Forge. To do that, go ahead and right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. Or, if you don't have Java here, what do you do? Well, if you don't have Java, here's what you need to do. You want to go to the description down below and download this. This is Java for Minecraft Mods. Obviously, we're installing Valums of Plenty, which is a Minecraft mod, so we want to come here, download this version of Java, and get it installed. Once you've done that, you should be able to open up Forge with Java, but if for whatever reason you can't, or your files don't look correct, they look like WinRAR files, or zip files, or something like that, you need to run the jar fix. And what this is going to do is take all the jar files in your computer and link them to Java, once again, basically linking them all up. It's a simple three-step process, and this tutorial goes through all of it. Finally, though, we can minimize our browser. Should be able to right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That's then going to open up the mod system installer for Forge. Well, all you want to do here is go and install client and click OK. 
So now I'm going to download, do some things, set some things up, and get Forge installed for Minecraft 1.16.5. If you do have any issues, it's because you haven't played Minecraft 1.16.5 without any mods or anything like that. So go, go do that. Just open it up to the main menu, close out of it, and then this will work. But as you can see, it does say successfully installed client profile Forge. Awesome. We go ahead and click OK there. It's going to close out of that. And finally, we can get Bombs of Plenty installed. But before we do that, we need to make sure we're opening Minecraft with Forge. To do that, you again want to open up the Minecraft launcher this time. And then once you open up the Minecraft launcher, we want to make sure we select the Forge profile. Now ours is automatically selected here, and if yours is, awesome, you're good to go. But for a lot of people, it won't be, and here's what you do if that's the case. First, see if you can just click this little arrow here. Sometimes when you do that, Forge will appear. If it does, awesome, click on it and click play. But if it doesn't, what you want to do is go to installations. Then you want to make sure all four of these boxes up here at the top are checked, specifically modded. As you can see, I turn off modded there, come back over here, and it's 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 not in this list anymore, I don't think. Let's see. Yeah, it's not in this list anymore, as you can see. We want to make sure that modded is selected here, and boom, that's going to make Forge appear. However, when you select modded, if it still doesn't appear, you still don't have Forge, what you want to do is go ahead and click on this plus new button. Then you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I doing that? Because that is our own incredible 1.16.5 grief protected survival server. We've also got amazing custom skyblock with tons of custom challenges, quests, all of that stuff. Again, we do have survival with aquatic survival, medieval survival. It's truly incredable. Come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. It's the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, guaranteed. Nevertheless, once you have entered in your name there, we can go ahead and click on this version drop down box. Now, in this drop down box, we're looking for at least 1.16.5 forge. Here it is for me. You may have to scroll down. I've seen it at the very, very, very bottom of the versions list before, so you might have to look down there, but for me, it's right up here towards the top. Click on that. I'm then going to go ahead and change our resolution. That's just so we can see once we get in game, and we can click create in the bottom right. The most important part is selecting the 1.16.5-Forge version here. Once we click create, we've got this new profile, playedourbreakdowncraft.com. Hover over it and click the green play button. It's going to give you this warning. Just click that you understand what you're doing because you're watching this video. You do know what you're doing, and then click play. It's then going to open up Minecraft 1.16.5 with Forge installed, and at this point, it's super easy to get Bombs of Plenty installed. The hard part is over. So if you see like a red Forge mod loading loading process thing here, most likely the rest of this tutorial is going to be super, super smooth sailing for you. So now we just kind of have to wait, right? So we're just waiting until we get to the Minecraft main menu, which I'm just going to go ahead and do a jump cut until we're there. So here we are in the Minecraft main menu. As you can see, Forge is definitely installed because in the bottom left, it says Forge there. We've also got this Mods button. So let's go ahead and click on this Mods button here. And once you do, you want to click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Again, from the Minecraft main menu, click on Mods and click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. That's going to open up, of course, our Mods folder here, where all you need to do to install Biomes of Plenty is take it from your desktop and drag and drop it into this Mods folder. Once you got Biomes of Plenty here, you can come back to Minecraft, and it's not going to be here, and it's never going to be here until you click on Done and then click Quit Game. Now we need to open Minecraft back up, but this time it's a lot easier than it was before. All you need to do is from this drop down box in the bottom left, select either your Forge or your Play.BreakdownCraft com profile as long as it has 1.16.5 dash forge under it you're good to select it and then click play this time you shouldn't have to go through that warning again but if you do just go ahead and click that green play button again and now it's going to go ahead and open up minecraft 1.16.5 with bombs of plenty as you can see there it is it's recognized it but the mod is there doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work but it's going to work because you're watching a video that is like almost guaranteed it's going to work as long as you got the like correct version like as long as you got 1.16.5 forge and 1.16.4 or 1.16.5 bombs of plenty it's going to work here so anyway we just kind of now have to wait. If it goes not responding like that, don't worry. You're seeing it all in real time here. We're not going to do any jump cuts to the main menu at this point because I can just show you from the time we install the mod and restart Minecraft to now it is working 100% completely including the loading and all of that stuff. But at this point, it's just kind of waiting, and it's kind of boring, but it is what it is. And then once we're on the main menu, there's a few ways that we can see that Bombs of Plenty is installed. The first being, from the main menu, clicking on the Mods tab. So if we click on Mods here, there it is, Biomes of Plenty. Awesome. Now, let's go ahead and create a new single-player world. And yes, to get the full effect of Biomes of Plenty, you do unfortunately have to click or create a new single-player world or use a world that's had Biomes of Plenty installed on it in the past. So nevertheless, Biomes of Plenty there. That's what we'll name this. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to make it creative. That's also not required, but something I like to do. But the most important part is to click on More World Options and make sure the world type Biomes of Plenty is selected. If it's not, you won't get all of the cool stuff that Biomes of Plenty has to offer. So you want to make sure that it says Biomes of Plenty right there. And then finally, we can click Done and create our new world. So at this point, it's going to go ahead and create the world. It is saying that the world using world's using experimental settings and so on and so forth. It's okay. Of course you know that because guess what? You're using a modded world. Of course it's going to say that. Go ahead and click proceed. And now we're just going to load right on up into Minecraft 1.16.5 with bombs of plenty. I will do a jump cut here because it can lag my computer a little bit when it's generating the worlds. And on top of that, it just takes a second. 
So here we are in game. Now let's go ahead and press F3 and we can find where is the biome listed over here. There it is, biome. And as you can see, we're actually in a biomes of plenty highland biome here, but that's not good enough for me. I want to show you the really, really cool ones that you can definitely tell are custom. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and something just disconnected from my computer and it really freaked me out. Just making sure that it wasn't my microphone or something important and I don't think it was. Sorry. Anyway, we're just going to go ahead and fly here for a second until we hit the cool biomes of plenty biomes because again, I am not satisfied with the, the, the hills biome over there. However, I am seeing something here maybe that that, uh, that could be. It's gone off in the distance. Should have turned around there. That's definitely a bomb of plenty biome there. This is not a, you know, super big, super sized world generating thing. This is bombs of plenty doing that uh, really, really cool kind of biome generation there. Intercutting this mountain. Wow, you could build some cool stuff with that. But anyway, uh, ooh, we've also got a, another sort of biome over here. So this is a Bombs of Plenty Shrubland. Again, that just looks kind of like planes to me. I'm not too concerned with that. But this looks really, really cool. We've got, uh, is that some emeralds on the surface? Oh, no, mossy cobble, it looks like. That's cool. So this is going to be a Highland Crag. Crag? Crag? I don't know what that one is. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and fly until I find what I would consider a cooler biome. Oh, here we go. So as you can see, you can see the different uh, sort of color of glass block here. And this is going to be a orchard biome. And we have these custom trees in here as well. And then... Usually we can find some big evergreen forest style biomes. This is what I like. I like the big evergreen forest style biomes, the ones that you're like, whoa, that is definitely custom. Like no doubt about that. That's a custom biome. That's what kind of what I'm looking for here. There we go. So these are the evergreen forest biomes here. Um, this looks like it might be a smaller one, but as you can see, these huge trees, definitely custom. And even these blocks of wood are actually, I believe, custom blocks of wood that Bombs of Plenty adds in. Tons of diversification here throughout this biome. I just really, really cool. This is um, a redwood forest edge. Yeah, there we go. I was about to say, normally these are a lot more dense, and here we go. So that was the edge, and this is going to be probably the redwood forest in here. And as you can see, it is just densely packed. But what's cool is if you're walking around on the ground, you can actually kind of walk through it pretty easily. Uh, it is overwhelming, but you can still walk through it and navigate it like a real redwood forest. So really cool stuff there. Always love Bombs of Plenty. Always like to do a tutorial on it. Give it on the most recent version because it is one of the more popular mods that we do. And obviously... For good reason, right? I mean, it adds in so much cool and awesome stuff. Right here, we just have a default Minecraft swamp. But see, I didn't even think that was default because it's sitting right on that redwood forest. It makes this look more unique. And then we do have another orchard biome. What is this going to be over here? This is going to be a prairie for bombs of plenty. And as you can see, we've got all this custom stuff and even some uh, different sort of uh, flowers in here. Is this, uh, is this wheat or is this something else? I don't know. I think this is something else. Really, really cool stuff there. So, nevertheless, there you have it. That is how you can add bombs of plenty to Minecraft 1.16.5. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And I think that right there is the perfect ending for biomes of plenty. Wow, look at that biome. This is going to be the lavender field. And that is truly stunning. Thank you all so, so much for watching again. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. For those of you curious about this seed, there it is. And I am out. Peace.